This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So you've heard me talk about the Tiffin Black Pro Mist a lot on this channel before. Now that's a low contrast softening filter that you put on the front of your common lens to kind of let the highlights bloom and lift the shadows a little bit just to give it a more quote unquote cinematic feel. But there's a lot of other filters on the market that can do a similar thing and maybe at a different cost, depending on what size you get, or maybe just give you a different type of halation in the highlights, or maybe don't lift the shadows if you don't want the shadows lifted. And I've got a couple in today that I wanna try out, um, and we're just gonna kind of compare them to the Tiffin Black Pro Mist. I'm gonna be using the quarter Tiffin Black Pro Mist for this test, that's the one I commonly use on set and for all, almost all the videos that I use a filter like that for. Now to have a control lens for this, I'm gonna be using the Sigma 18 to 35 because it's a very common lens that most people have in their kit. And it's not like too sharp, but not too soft. It won't be like one of my vintage lenses that's already gonna kind of bloom the highlights anyways. Um, and so we can have a little bit more of a controlled lens to work with. Once we've kind of compared all these filters just by looking at this shot, then I might throw on one of my vintage lenses and we can see how that even accentuates that vintage look even more. Now to light this to kind of show you how the blooming is gonna work, I'm gonna do a very simple setup. I've got the Nanlite Pavo tune behind me, which is kind of shooting right into the lens. Now that's gonna already bloom the lens just a little bit. It's gonna make those highlights kind of bloom out like that. Um, and when we put the filter on, you should see that accentuated. And then of course, I just have an Aperture 120D Mark II bouncing off the wall over here, just as my little key light. And we're shooting on the Ursa Mini 4.6K. So currently we have the Sigma 18 to 35 uh, at f1.8 at 35 millimeters um, with nothing in front of the lens. Okay, so this is with the quarter Tiffin Black Promist on the Sigma 18 to 35. So you can clearly see what that Nanlite Pavo tube is doing in the background now. It is completely, I mean, for lack of a word, blown out. It's blooming all over the place. And my shadows are probably lifted a little bit, but they don't look too bad. There's still enough contrast in the image um, to not completely wash it out. Now there's a couple other filters I wanna to test today against the Tiffin Black Promise. One being the Prism Lens Dream Effects filter, which I have in a four uh, by five size filter, which I'm gonna use with the uh, little Tiffin mini map box here to put that on. And then this Tiffin's a 77 millimeter right now. So then I'm also gonna be able to compare the, uh, this should just be coming out this week, the Moment Cine Bloom filter. So now this filter should act very similar to something like a Promist. Um, I haven't completely tested it yet, so I don't exactly know how it's gonna look, but I'm guessing it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be a little bit low contrast compared to uh, the stock lens. And it should also bloom the highlights, kind of give you that quote unquote filmic vibe. This one's kind of nice, it's got a nice little red ring on it and it's got grooves on the filter itself so it's easier to pull on and off the lens. So using a softening filter is very common, you'll see in a lot of like commercials and even in Hollywood because otherwise, when you're shooting on these digital cameras, you've probably heard it before, things can start to look a little bit too sharp. So I'm gonna take off this Tiffin Black Promise and I'm gonna throw on the Moment Cine Bloom next and then after that we'll throw on the Dream Effects. All right, so now I put on the Moment Cine Bloom filter. This is the 10%. I believe they have one that comes in a 10% and a 20%. So it's obviously gonna be different intensity on how much this filter is actually affecting the lens itself. You can see right now that the Nanlite Pavo tube is still very bloomy. From what I can tell, just swapping these really fast, it seems like it's a little less bloomy than the Quarter Pro Mist, but maybe the 20% version of this filter might bloom even more. Um, I don't have that one in right now to try out. They just sent me the 10%, which by the way, Moment did send me this lens to try out, and I'm just borrowing the Dream Effects, and I already own the Tiffin, so uh, just so you know, there's a really big biases going on here. I've been using the Tiffin for like eight years now on all my shoots. So obviously I like that that a lot, but we'll see how this moment and the dream effects compare. So there's some color in the background. There's a white wall in the background. I'm also wearing blacks. So you should be able to see those blacks kind of lift uh, up if there is a low contrast situation happening on this filter. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on this um, Tilta mini map box and then the dream effects filter and see how that looks as well. Yeah, I would say dream is a uh, is a good name for this filter. Look at the halation on that nan light. It is out of control. It's definitely peaking. I definitely let it blow out a little bit and just to kind of see how much it's really gonna accentuate when we put this in front of the lens. Now the Sigma 18-35 isn't a super 
sharp contrasty lens compared to like a you know a modern Canon lens or something like that. But it does have a more way more contrast than like say one of my uh, vintage Canon FD lenses. Um, so it's really going to take the edge off of one of those uh, lenses like that if you're trying to get that kind of more quote unquote filmic look. Something else to note is that when you put one of these filters in front of your lens, it's also going to just soften it. It's going to make the lens less sharp. But in a lot of ways that's a good thing because honestly you don't want it to be too sharp to your eye unless you're doing something that's very specific that you want a lot of sharpness. And it comes with a nice little pouch that you can put it in but it's also obviously a bigger filter and you will need a matte box for that. This is a more standard size filter that you would find for regular cinema camera matte boxes versus one of these like the the Moment or the Promise that I'm using is designed for, these are 77 millimeter but I believe they come in 82 millimeter and they come in other sizes of course um, for different size filter rings um, on your lens. The Moment also comes with a really nice case. It's made out of metal, it seems, and it's a screw top thing. So it's really gonna protect your lens. If you threw this somewhere, I don't think your lens is gonna break. It has padding inside, which is really nice. Whereas the Promus, when it, when it ships to you, it doesn't really have much of a case. It's just a kind of a little black case. It's not going to protect it like these other uh, two cases might. Okay, so now this is what these all kind of look like side by side um, with the Sigma 18 to 35, but I'm gonna throw on my Canon 35 FD lens, a vintage lens. It's already gonna have a little bit of low contrast to it, a little bit of kind of weird uh, character to it in the highlights, and we'll see how these filters look on top of that first using a sharper modern lens like the Sigma 18 to 35. So I would say looking at these just back to back just by throwing them on and looking at the monitor, they all definitely have a different look and I would say that they're all like just a different intensity. Obviously this Dream Effects is very, very strong intensity when it comes to blooming those highlights compared to the 10% moment. It's not blooming as much, it's more of a subtle look if that's kind of what you want. You just want to just take the edge off of one of those sharper lenses. Uh, that, that might be the one for you. And then the Tiffin Black Promise is kind of in between. Um, Tiffin's been around a long time. They're a very reputable company, so keep that in mind when trying to choose your filter. Whereas Moment, you know, they just started making filters, but not to say that these filters are bad at all. I mean, then Dream Effects, same thing, very, very new company. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. You could even just take a your thumb and take a little oil off your nose and smear it on your lens if you want to get a different effect. There's a lot of ways you can uh, change how your lens reacts to light. Um, it doesn't matter if it costs a lot or not, or if it's from a reputable company. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of swap these filters off and on and shoot a couple things around my loft just to see how they all compare and see how they deal with light like while the camera's moving or in slow motion or the closer you get to a subject and just kind of see how they look. But first, let's talk about this video's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to present your work online. As a freelance cinematographer, a custom website has been crucial for me to get work over the past decade and I've been using Squarespace basically the whole time. Thanks to their amazing pre-built templates, it was easy for me to build a website and make sure my work was online for potential clients to see. Not only can someone review my work in a simple and easy way, but they can fill out a custom contact form to inquire about a project without even leaving the site. So if you're anything like me and you need to show your work off online, then make a website with Squarespace. Click the link in the description to receive a free trial and 10% off your purchase. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now something to note while I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure the black in Tiffin Black Promise means that it's trying to retain some of the black values still while making a low contrast image. So like the Cine Bloom filter, I think it's just doing low contrast across the entire image. So you're gonna lift those blacks and lift those highlights a little bit. Whereas the Tiffin Black Promise is gonna add halation to the highlights, but try to retain those black levels.
So some additional thoughts before we go. Uh, first off, let's talk about pricing for a second. Um, so the Prism Lens Dream Effects, I believe that filter, if you wanted to get it in a 77 millimeter uh, screw-on filter, you can. And it's $85 normally, and I think right now, uh, making this video, it's uh, on sale for $65, which is very close in comparison to the new Moment Cine Bloom, but but I think it's the cheapest of the three. It's actually $49 for the 77 millimeter screw-on. And like I said before, it comes in different sizes. I think it might be the same price for all the different sizes. Um, and then of course the Tiffin Black Promise, which is like the go-to filter for cinema. Um, I believe if you wanted the 77 millimeter, that's gonna be like $98 on B&H. And that price does fluctuate depending on the size that you get. So if you get a smaller one, I think the price will go down. Um, and then they have different strengths on all of these. So you have the 10% 10 and the 20% on the moment. And actually on the Prism Lens Dream Effects, um, you can get that in a subtle version, which I didn't know that until I started making this video. So you can actually get a less bloomy version of that. And then of course the Tiffin Black Promise comes in a 1 8th, it'll even go to a half. So you can get more halation in the highlights or less halation in the highlights, depending on what you want. It really just comes down to style. It comes down to the project and comes down to how much of that effect do you want on your lens. Um, so maybe it would be nice to have multiples of these in your kit, maybe different strengths for different reasons. Um, for me, I kind of like that because this 10% seems to be a little bit more subtle on this moment compared to my Pro Miss, which is just a little bit more in the highlights. But then the Pro Miss is going to retain some of those black levels. If I wanted to get something more aggressive, I could use the Dream Effects or the 20% moment if I wanted something like that. So yes, I did stop using the Dream Effects during the B-roll section because it was just kind of uh, a pain to take that matte box on and off. And then I found out you could get a 77 millimeter uh, version of that filter, so just keep that in mind. You don't have to have a matte box to use that filter. But because Prism Lens Effects is a very small company, it seems like they sell out of their filters a lot, so keep that in mind when you go to buy one. And once again, I want to thank Moment for sending me this filter so I can compare it to the other filters. It's nice to have different options in your kit to get, create different looks for different projects. And if you're kind of new to this channel, I'm Spencer Sakurai. I'm a cinematographer. I've been doing this for the last 10 years. And if you like content like this, definitely, you know, give me a thumbs up on the video. And if you love this content, subscribe to the channel. There'll be more stuff like this in the future. Until next time, guys, I'm Spencer Sakurai. See ya.